Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. In case you're new here, my name is Lorena and I love to share my recipes with you. And if you've been here before, then hello again. Today we're going to make a really nice and comforting recipe. We're going to make a cauliflower and cheese souffle. Souffles for me are the perfect way to start or finish a meal, whether they're savory or sweet. And I thought I might uh, start by teaching you how to make a savory uh, souffle. But let me know in the comments below if you want to learn how to make a sweet souffle as well. Today we're making it with cauliflower, but of course you can replace the cauliflower with any vegetable of your choice as long as you cook it first like we did with the cauliflower because they tend to let loose of a lot of liquid when they're cooking. As always, if you want to see the full recipe, then all you need to do is click on the link in the description box below and that will take you to the blog where you will find lots more recipes. Also remember that if you like this video, you can always put thumbs up to it and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done it already. Now I'm going to make this cauliflower souffle, so if you want to see how it's done, then keep on watching this video. I've already cooked my cauliflower, so that's out of the way. I literally just sprinkled it with a bit of salt and pepper and finished it with olive oil and popped it in the oven at 180 degrees Celsius for about 30 or 40 minutes or until I can put a skewer inside and it's nice and soft. So as you can see, I've already chopped it really finely as well. If you want it all white without the golden bits, although I really love the taste that they bring, then you can cover it in tin foil to make sure that the oven doesn't make them golden. So now what we need to do is paint our molds with butter and this will help the souffle rise when it's in the oven. So you want to do upward motions to help the souffle go up. If your room is cold, you can just leave them there while you, while you do the rest of the recipe, but if it's really hot, then you can pop them in the fridge. For the base of the souffle, we're going to do a bechamel sauce or white sauce. What I have here is my butter, which I'm melting, and then I'm going to add the flour to uh, bring it to a boil, and that will make what is called a roux, which is nothing other than a thickening agent for the milk that we're going to add later. Once that has boiled up, then we're going to take it off the heat and add the milk little by little, so we make sure that we don't have any lumps. Afterwards, we're going to add the, the cheese, and that will make what uh, the French call a Mornay sauce, which is just a bechamel sauce with cheese. And once we're there, I'll keep you posted on what we'll do next. ready it's really nice and sticky when you're making a white sauce what you need to have in mind also is that it does need to come to a proper boil that way you know that the flour has cooked all the way through and that um, it will not get any thicker than that afterwards if you want to change the cheeses what you need to have in mind is that they need to be uh, quite sticky and easy melting so you can use cheddar or comte or gouda you know, all those nice and melting cheeses. Now I'm turning off the heat and I'm going to add two egg yolks that I have over here. I have them with cling film on top because I uh, separated them a couple of hours back and I didn't want them to form a skin, so I put the cling film on top. We're going to put it inside and give it a quick mix. Now that we've added the cheeses, we can taste it and see if it needs more salt, some pepper, etc. And you want the salt level to be slightly over because then we're going to mix it with the egg whites and that will bring the salt level down. Now 
Now I'm going to add my cauliflower as well. Next I'm going to transfer it to another bowl because I want it to cool down slightly. I just want it to be slightly above our room temperature, so slightly warm. Now all we've got left to do is to whip up uh, the egg whites. So we're going to keep this on the side and give it a stir every so often so it doesn't form a skin. If you were going to do this a bit later on, say it's the afternoon and you're going to cook it at night, then you want to put a cling film on top so that a skin doesn't form. So in here I have my four egg whites and we're going to whip them up until they're really nice and fluffy. Next I'm going to add another two egg yolks. This time they will not cook with the heat uh, from my Mornay sauce with the cauliflower because it's now cooled down to a warm temperature. I can easily stick my finger in there and it doesn't burn at all. And these two egg yolks are because we want them to help our souffle have a bit more structure when it goes up. About half of this mix we're going to roughly mix it in and then the rest we're going to fold. This is looking nice and fluffy and so now they need to go straight into the mold and into the oven for about 10 to 15 minutes. Oh and my oven is at 180 degrees Celsius. When you're filling up your ramekins you want to fill them up all the way to uh, the line that it has inside. It's there for a reason, so they will grow a bit above the final rim of your ramekin. Don't put them too close together so that the uh, heat can go through them easily. Phew, I literally had to run from the oven to um, my set that I have over there to take the pictures because these deflate quite quickly of course as any souffle does They're so good anyway. I mean, I'm going to reheat them for tonight and they're gonna be just as good They're super fluffy and so yummy with the cheese and the cauliflower I mean, they're a dream come true. I'm salivating as I speak. <laughs> if you want to make something ahead You can get all the way to the morning sauce with the cauliflower and leave that Ideally outside your fridge because you want it to be at least a room temperature or a bit warm and that helps the egg whites not to deflate so much But you definitely need to whip up the egg whites and pop it in the oven right right before you want to serve it But it's only about 20 minutes in total from the machine to the oven So it's not that long, but I promise you this totally is worth the while That was my cauliflower and cheese souffle recipe. I really hope you liked it if you did like it, don't forget to put thumbs up to this video, it makes me really, really happy. Please, if you make this recipe or any other recipe from the vlog, don't forget to send me your pictures or tag me on them because I really love to see what you cook. Also, if there's anything savory or sweet that you want me to teach you how to make, then remember that you can leave it on the comment section below. I'm posting videos every Thursday and Sunday, so if you don't want to miss any of them, then I recommend that you subscribe to my channel, it's free and only one click away. You can also follow me on Instagram, Pinterest and Facebook as Cravings Journal. Thank you so much for watching this video and see you next time.